Hello guys, I am here with a way to replace your main menu wallpaper in Skyrim. Uh, to do this, we're going to be using a, a program called paint.net and an already existing mod to replace the wallpaper. And the already existing mod does replace the wallpaper, but it replaces it with uh, like preset images and whatnot. So um, we're going to be going ahead and using our own image, you know, whatever, a screenshot or what have you. And the mod comes with two versions. Uh, there's a single version, which just, you know, uh, has one wallpaper. And you can choose between them. And then there's a randomizer, which randomizes it every time you boot up. So to get paint.net, just go to uh, getpaint.net and go ahead and download it and install it and for the mod um, go to the Skyrim Nexus and type in uh, main menu wallpaper replacer and make sure you have the one by Hellstorm 102 and once you have those and you have uh, an image you want to replace it with you can go ahead and open paint.net and then go to file open and then open the image you want to replace the wallpaper with um, in which case mine is right here and then go to image resize and go to by percentage and type in 101 just so 1% larger than it uh, normally is and click OK and it'll resize so you can now save it file save as and just name it something new or you can go ahead and replace the already existing image. I'm not going to do that though. So I'm just going to name it what it originally was underscore resized and save. And then it'll come up with this you know, save configuration menu. Just click OK. All right. And once you've done that, you're going to want to go to file new now and get paint.net. And it'll come up with this prompt box and it'll ask you uh, pixel height and width. And for both of them, you want to type in 2048 and then click OK. All right. Now that you've done that, go to Layers, Import from File, and open up that resized image. And make sure you open it up to the top left or import it to the top left. All right. Now we're going to want to drag it into a certain position. So your tool should already be on move selected pixels and you just click it and drag it to move it. But as you can see here in the bottom left corner, it says uh, selection top left 32 comma 155. And that is um, that's reflecting uh, where we move it in terms of pixels. So I've moved it 32 pixels to the right and 155 pixels down. Oops. And we're going to want to move it round about uh, about 55 to 60 pixels to the right and we're going to want to move it about 330 pixels down so I'm gonna do that right now and just when you're doing this yourself just keep in mind just look on the bottom left here to see exactly where you're moving it and to fine-tune it you can hit the arrow keys as well All right, so I've moved it um, from the top left to the right 55 pixels and down 330 pixels. And once you've done that, you're going to go to File, Save As, and then you're, uh, for Save As Type, you're going to want to make it uh, .dds or Direct Draw Surface, and you're going to want to name it Main Menu Wallpaper. And uh, yours may not show .dds, don't worry about that. It's just a setting I have in Windows. And now you're going to want to click Save. And you can leave the Save Configuration on default and then click OK. And then it's going to ask you, do you want to merge the two layers um, that we have down here? And just click Flatten to do that. All right, now once we've done that, we can exit out of Paint.net and I'm gonna go ahead and delete the original two images here you don't have to do it I'll just do it so it looks a little neater and now for the mod we're gonna to wanna to right click it and go to uh, extract to uh, its own folder or extract here whichever one you like and now we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open that up 
and then we're going to go ahead and click on you can see here there's a lot of letters and each letter has a different background uh, don't worry about that now just go ahead and click any letter I'm going to click A and go ahead and go into uh, data and copy the meshes and textures folder now we're going to install the mod basically and you can install it using Nexus mod manager that's fine um, I'm going to install it manually so I'm going to go to my Skyrim installation now and uh, that's under your hard drive program files x86 steam steam apps common Skyrim and then you're going to want to go to data and paste the meshes and textures and it's going to ask you do you want to merge the folders click yes click yes and now what we're going to do is we're going to copy our main menu wallpaper dot dds and then we're going to go into textures and you may not have all this here I do uh, you, you should have interface so go into interface go into objects and then paste your main menu wallpaper and overwrite the already existing one and then you can exit out and then you're all done actually um, as you can see it wasn't that uh, complicated of a process and I'm gonna boot up Skyrim now to um, show you that it's all worked just very fine okay so I'm here in Skyrim and as you can see uh, the main menu wallpaper has been replaced using the mod and our own image files and um, I should note that there is about I mean five to ten pixels cut off around the edges and that's because when we import the if we try to position the image when it's 1920 by 1080 like exactly where it needs to be you can you'll see that it's a little warped like the uh, very bottom in the middle here will be some space like some white space and um, it's just basically that's why we resized it and um, that is it actually uh, keep in mind that I have used a uh, 1920 by 1080 image for this so if you're if you have a your monitor in a 16 by 10 aspect ratio or you have a different resolution please take that into account but I did 1920 by 1080 obviously because it's what I have um, on my computer it's my native resolution and um, it's actually probably the most common resolution so uh, yeah that's it Thank you for watching and goodbye.